wanted to congratulate you, Lloyd, on winning the Ted Robinson Community Service Award for Yakima this year. Bob and I are so proud of you. Uh, we would like to say uh, thank you to the Yakima Chamber for that. I met Lloyd uh, when he was 10 years old. He's been my brother-in-law for 60 plus years. And uh, it's been a great, great run. Lloyd uh, grew up in the Sunnyside Grandview uh, area, and he uh, went on to medical, went to Central Washington first, graduated from there, and pre then yeah. pre-med, yes, and then went on to uh, Kirksville, Missouri, <clears throat> and uh, came back to Sunnyside and practiced as a DO, uh, family doctor for 30 some years. After retirement, moved to Yakima, and uh, he and another doctor were conferring with each other about how Washington State could use a medical university, because we haven't had one in many, many years. So they talked to people in the community, and more doctors joined a small group of people, and they worked for uh, years to start bringing that about and it took a long time, lots and lots of meetings um, and a lot of community participation because it took, the money was private money that went into this university and uh, it took uh, a lot of heartaches, a lot of ups and downs as the community knows and, and now what a glorious place that we have and students that we can be so proud of that go out into our state, the states around us, and we're going to enjoy the results of what they are going to contribute to our state forever, I feel. So, you have anything you'd like to say? Well, as it turned out, the university was basically started by founders, and Lloyd and Charlotte and I were some of the early founders of it. We're really proud of Lloyd and his ability to accomplish things in the community. He's just a great fundraiser, and uh, he's uh, always involved in community activities, and we're very proud of him. It is a real honor uh, to be able to say a few words for one of my heroes. Dr. Butler is, um, was, I met him in November 19th, 2009, at the PNWU which is our medical school in Terrace Heights. I met him at the administrative offices. That date is etched in my memory. He was there um, as a potential for being the president of the university, and I was there to be used as a business consultant along with John Cadwell out of the Tri-Cities and a very astute businessman from, from down south of us. The school was looking for a new administrative uh, leadership. I want to get one thing straight. There is a perception that doctors don't know anything about business. And while that may be a true statement in some aspects, I can tell you for sure, I want to set the record straight. John Cadwell and I learned more from Dr. Butler on business than Dr. Bet Butler ever learned from us. Now he has, the pers he has the perfect personality for what we needed for this job. He was very pay positive, very upbeat. Matter of fact, I don't think he's ever seen a glass half full. Everything he encountered was either half full or pouring over the top. And after a while he became known as the bluebird of happiness around the college. And we needed that trait because we were facing at the school some real serious issues. And we needed a cheerleader, and we needed a guy that was positive, and we needed a guy that was not gonna give up very readily, and boy, he was all of that and more. He has great people skills, and he's a born leader. He took it from the abyss to where it is now solid in every category you can think of, whether it's academic or financial, or whatever. You wonder probably why I would call a good friend uh, like Lloyd Dr. Butler in my whole address here. Well, I, I want you to know that he was an outstanding and, and highly regarded uh, physician in the Sunnyside area, a family practitioner. 
And I also want you to know that he loves being a doctor. He loves having that, that term. He cherished you calling him Dr. Butler. Now the leadership of this Ted Robertson Award has hit a home run with this guy. He is everything you could possibly want as a candidate for this award. Dr. Butler, I want to congratulate you on your Ted Robertson Community Service Award. You exude community service. Starting a medical school from scratch through thick and thin is something I'll never forget. You made the difference. You motivated us. You inspired us to help understand the why. Growing up in Outlook, going to YVC, graduating from Central, going to medical school in Missouri, and coming back to be an iconic physician in Sunnyside. When doubters ask why in Yakima, you answered, why not? When they had questions about how we'd recruit faculty and staff and students to Yakima, Washington, you showed them how and you backed it with why. From a finance perspective, building a medical school with a grassroots effort not having a hundred million dollars on the table is impossible and you made it happen. Now we're generating millions of dollars putting it back into the Yakima community. We now know the magnitude of what we've done. Nationally we put Yakima on the map. We named you our blue bird of happiness for a reason. You made us want to come to work every day even when we had daunting barriers and tremendously long hours. You made us want to be here because you knew we were going to get it done. We need more people like you in Yakima, Dr. Butler. People with passion, willing to take a risk, willing to work hard at it, and willing to do it without thinking what's in it for me. You're the reason why we're here. You've left a legacy, 354 of them and counting. Thank you, Dr. B. Congratulations, Dr. Butler. I want to join everybody else here tonight in congratulating you on this award that you're receiving. I had met Dr. Butler a few times before I started work at Pacific Northwest University in 2010 while I worked at the two hospitals in Yakima. When I first heard about a medical school being formed, it was through the doctor's lounge where there was a lot of doubt about pulling this off in the Yakima community. However, those doubts soon passed as everybody began to see PNW becoming a reality in our community. When I interviewed with Dr. Butler in 2010, his enthusiasm was so contagious that you couldn't help but want to become a part of this thing called PNW and its College of Osteopathic Medicine. Dr. Butler, you have succeeded in so many ways at bringing this to fruition. I can still remember that first graduation in 2012 as those first students walked across the stage and were introduced as a doctor for the first time. Your smile was from ear to ear and everybody in the audience shared a tear with you at watching this reality come to fruition. I want to say thank you also to Gloria. You put all of your retirement plans on hold in order for Dr. Butler to work here night and day. And we thank you, Gloria, for your part in this as well. Dr. Butler, I just want to thank you again for this gift that you gave me as you left. Nobody else will understand how much this dog has meant to me, but it was a gift from you to me in memory of my father. And I want to say thank you again for all that you have done, for offering me a chance to work here at the university, for believing in me and believing in the university and our college. Thanks again. Dr. B, full circle swing here. I first met you when I was a young rookie cop at Sunnyside and uh, you became my family doctor and uh, practitioner. Fast forward just a couple years, here I am uh, on my retirement job as the director of security where you brought me in in 2008. It's been a pleasure to know you and I really want to say congratulations on your award for the uh, Ted Robertson Award. You know, when I think of Lloyd Butler, I think of a man of many talents and many careers. Uh, you know, he was a doctor, a little bit of a developer, a big developer out of Pacific Northwest University. Lloyd is kind of a cross between a, a bulldog and an energizer bunny. And, and I mean that in a positive way. He's got great stamina, great energy, 
and he can get things done. But you know, few people know about all his work out at the new Sozo Soccer Sports Complex. He's been helping Kerry Martin bring that dream to reality. And again, his energy, his contacts, his work with the city to get the city to be a partner in that project out there. It is going to be the most fantastic sports uh, facility in the Northwest. And probably where I've become most familiar with Lloyd is through Rotary. We both have a love for Rotary, but Lloyd is just outstanding in bringing in new members. So all the leadership, at, uh, most of the leadership at Pacific Northwest University has really become more active and more settled in the community through Lloyd's work with Rotary. Yes, Dr. Butler has been and will continue to be a force for good in Yakima. Hi, I would be remiss if I didn't congratulate Dr. Butler. Dr. B was the instigator of PNWU. What a privilege it was for me to serve on the PNWU board with Dr. Butler. He's been a wonderful asset to the community. I can't stop thinking about how many people he has brought to town with the university. Dr. Butler, congratulations on being recognized with the Ted Robertson Service Award. You obviously uh, are an individual that uh, deserve, more than deserves that recognition. You put your reputation and your pocketbook on the line to help start Pacific Northwest University of Health Sciences. And it is an amazing asset to our valley and one which I believe most of us haven't really realized uh, what that uh, has done for this valley and what it will continue to do for years and years to come. So thank you for your efforts on that behalf. And now you've moved on to Sozo. And uh, I know with your uh, help and guidance, uh, that project, which is already successful, will become even more so as it is built out uh, and is fully developed. We would be remiss uh, if we did not thank Gloria uh, for, for all of her help and her guidance and being there uh, right beside you with, with her support. So Gloria, thank you. Uh, we owe you a great uh, debt of gratitude as well. So for both of you, I hope uh, this is a great evening, one that you will look back on and enjoy. And thank you for all of the efforts that you have made to improve uh, our valley and improve the lives of all of the citizens of our community. Dr. Butler, you are a strong leader and a true visionary. When you decided to build a medical school in Yakima, Washington, you took your passion for your community and improved the quality of life for thousands of people in your community. Now Sozo Sports is extremely grateful to have you on our team. With your guidance, we are well on our way to building the largest sports complex in the Pacific Northwest. You've been instrumental to our success and I can't thank you enough. Congratulations, Dr. B, on this great honor. Thank you for everything that you do for your community, the love and the time and the commitment that you give to make Yakima a better place to live. We love you and we couldn't be more proud. To have known of Dr. Butler, um, not personally, during his time at PNWU, and to have watched that come together and to know the impact that's gonna have on our community is truly an incredible contribution that anybody uh, at that level would deserve an award like this. But to continue that vision with Sozo and to approach the city and to bring people together, it is, it is one of those projects that will change the course of Yakima's history. And it's truly exciting to have been a part of that. Working with him at the city, he put zero political pressure on us. He presented a vision, he presented an idea, and built momentum around that, helped fundraise the money from the private sector, and helped get a commitment from the city. He's such a kind, quiet, humble man, and someone who I think is not hard to get to know, but once you spend time with him, you just see that he's so pure with his intentions, and he really wants to see Yakima do well. The night of that council meeting was uh, one of my favorite all-time meetings, one of my favorite votes that I've been involved in because of the, the natural energy from the students and kids that came out there, um, and a class act. They work with the city management, they work with the city council, they work with the county, the community, so a lot of collaboration went into this project. First driving out to the fields uh, when they did the groundbreaking and to speak there was an honor, but to see Dr. Butler um, so quiet, so reserved, and uh, just, just 
happy that this is coming together. I remember one of the young gals was so excited she got to hold a gold shovel. And most of the time, us politicians take credit for things other people do. But to have them have the, the, the soccer players involved at that level and to really tie Sozo and, and the kids together, the parents together, the families together, it's going to be a safe place for kids and it's going to be something that Dr. Butler can look back on and go, I don't want any credit for this, but I was a big part of how this happened, and one reason why he's getting this award is his continued community service and, and something that you don't find in a lot of people. It's a rare quality, a rare trait, and I'm so excited to, to know him, to congratulate him, and to have worked with him on this project. So I'd like to congratulate Dr. Butler on receiving the Ted Robinson Award. Uh, his community service to both uh, the Sunnyside area, where he is a great physician for many years, and to the Yakima area where he uh, was the founder and the main driver of the medical school. And now he's helping me out with Sozo Sports to raise funds for a great uh, community project for the kids of our valley. Dr. Butler is really my second dad. He has been such an inspiration and mentor to me um, through all those years of computerizing his medical office and having me on different boards, uh, both at the medical school and at the winery. So he's just, he's just been fantastic to um, get to know, to be able to rely on, to run ideas by. I'm, uh, I'm so impressed to, to think even just a little bit like him and be a big picture thinker like he is. So Dr. Butler, here's to you, and thank you very much for all you've done for me and for this community.